The drought monitor for your grow report improved again this week in Nebraska. Not so the case in Kansas. It is uh, one of the driest states in the country and we'll show you why. 81% of Nebraska drought free, 19% abnormally dry, 1% moderate and that is right in the south central part of the state. Kansas, on the other hand, 2.64% drought free. That would be the St. Francis area again, 97.36% abnormally dry. Then there's 83.37% moderate drought in Kansas. Then you get down into the south central part of Kansas where 59.47% is severe, 27% extreme and 7% exceptional. The driest since the drought monitor has been produced that we have seen Kansas. So the snow that we got, it really impacted northern Kansas and of course southern Nebraska. So there will be an improvement in this part of the region. It won't make that much of a difference in the southern part of the Sunflower State. But Every little bit helps, and uh, right now, that moisture is welcome, no matter how it rolls in. Normal highs for this time of year, 63, 37 for normal lows. Last week, we were right on track. This week, below normal by 8 degrees. 55 will be our average high ahead. 31 will be our average low. And this is what the forecast looks like. At least some sunshine. We do improve compared to today by quite a bit, but we start off pretty cold tomorrow morning with 17 degrees for a low. 48 will be the high and then 66 on Tuesday, 56 Wednesday, 40% the odds for a wintry mix on Thursday morning, but the high in the afternoon hits 58 little cooler and that wintry mix is likely first thing in the morning Friday, but we do warm up so it's not going to be a major storm or winter storm as we see it right now. Things do change as we know. When April makes much noise, we will have plenty of rye and hay. When April blows its horn, like it did this weekend, then it stands good with hay, rye, and corn. That's your proverb. That is your grow report for this week. Join us again next week as we watch things grow. It's been a rough weekend out there with that weather. We appreciate folks who've sent in some photos and videos during the blizzard showing how you care for those livestock. An easy way to do that is through our website. Go to Nebraska.tv slash chime in and upload those photos to us. When we return, some young people share their story of agriculture. Champions for agriculture. That's next.